Hey guys, Roger here, and today I'm looking at another budget mid-tower PC case from Abconcore. Now, this one is the Kronos or Kronos 510S. It is a budget case, so some of the advanced features that you'll find with some of the more expensive cases, you won't get that with this one. Most importantly, their RGB sync feature. Now, this video is sponsored by Abconcore, but as always, I'm giving you my honest opinion about this product. So this case, as you can see, has RGB on the front section and the RGB at the front is connected to the fan at the back of the case inside. Now there are different modes that you can choose from, including fixed colors and also the spectrum modes where the RGB will cycle through various different effects. And you can cycle through all of the different effects by pressing the LED button on the top of the case. Now there is another version of this same PC case that does have Abconcore's sync feature, so if you're planning on adding more fans in the future, I would recommend perhaps going for the sync version, otherwise you won't be able to synchronize, of course, the additional fans that you may want to use in your build. Now the thing is, this case only comes with one fan, and that's at the back, so you really will need to add at least one more fan at the front on the inside, but there are a few different areas where you can install more fans. And if you're new to building PCs, or if you're looking at using this case for your first budget build, well, if you tried using this case with just one fan, the one that comes with it, then your PC is going to run hot. So my advice here is that you should definitely add more fans. I have looked at some of the other cases from Abconcore over the last few weeks, and if you're subscribed to the channel already, then you may well have seen those videos. But if you haven't, I'll leave some links to those videos in the description below. Well worth taking a look at, as Abconcore really do have some nice cases. So if you're simply looking for a cheap case for a budget PC build, then this isn't a bad option. Just like all of the other cases from Abconcore, this one is packed well in a large box with two foam pads to protect it during shipping. And the first thing I actually noticed when I unboxed this was the tempered glass panel on the side, and it has a kind of tint to it. Now this is one of the better things about this case, and it makes a rather budget case look that little bit nicer. It does mean that the parts inside the case are not as easy to see due to the glass being tinted, but that might be a good thing if you're trying to hide terrible cable management like mine with this build here. Now the bottom of the case has a nice cutout as well, so you can see your power supply from the front, and of course the bottom section of the case will hold either two hard drives or two SSDs, and there is space for another four SSDs on the back panel behind the motherboard, so that's a maximum of six SSDs or four SSDs and two standard hard drives, so that really is quite a lot. In terms of space inside the case, well, you've got room for power supplies up to 225 millimeters, graphics cards up to 390 millimeters, and CPUs up to 168 millimeters. Plus, of course, there is space for 320 or 240 millimeter fans at the front, 220 or 140 millimeter fans at the top, and the built-in single 120 millimeter fan at the back. And if you want to, you can also fit a radiator to the front, the top, or the rear of this case. There is also a magnetic mesh dust filter panel at the top and a removable one at the bottom of the case. Now the case will hold a mini ITX, micro ATX or ATX motherboard. And this case does have a nice amount of USB ports on the top. Two of them are USB 3.0 and the other two are USB 2.0 ports, along with the headphone and mic socket. And of course the power button reset switch and the LED control button. So as always, in order to really see this case in action, I use the exact same build that went into the other cases I've looked at from Abconcore. So I'm running a Ryzen 5 2600, a Zotac GTX 1650 Super GPU, and 16 gig of RAM. And I didn't do any extensive testing, but as I did with the other cases, I ran a few very simple benchmarks just to see what the temperatures were like inside the case. And I must just add that I did install two more 120 millimeter fans on the inside at the front of the case. And in terms of temperatures, well, this is what I got. So as long as you add a few more fans to the case, the airflow will end up being pretty reasonable. If you are planning a larger or perhaps more complex build, I would suggest possibly looking at one of Abconcore's other cases. But if you really are looking for a budget case, then this will do the job, but I can't stress enough that you really do need to add 
more fans to this case. I like the tinted glass panel on the side and I also like the fact that this case will hold six SSDs in total. That's really good for someone that's SSD crazy or perhaps someone that's using SSDs in an external case. You could possibly put them inside. Overall, the build quality is reasonable. It looks nice. The design is cool with that RGB section at the front. And for the price, you get a pretty good deal. Just don't forget to add more fans. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so, so that you don't miss my future videos. And if you enjoyed this video, or if you found it useful, please give the video a thumbs up. That really does help. You can also catch me on Instagram and Twitter. And if Discord is your thing, then I'm there too. All the links will be in the description, so come and say hi. I'm Roger with Life of Tech. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.